hello and welcome everybody. I hope you are all having the most wonderful day. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about grow foods. So grow foods are the second part of our three part series where we're talking about go, grow, and glow foods. And we already talked about our go foods. Today I want to talk to you guys about grow foods. And our grow foods are our protein foods. So I want you to take a minute and you can either write it down. If you don't have paper, you can just sink it in your head or maybe comment below. Try to think of three foods that come to your mind when you hear the word protein. So if you couldn't think of any, don't worry about it. I'm gonna give you some examples now. So some really healthy and good examples of grow foods for you would be things like chicken, there's fish, or there's milk, or there's cheese, or there's eggs. So those are all um, really good animal products uh, that have a lot of protein in them. And if you don't eat animal products, so maybe you're vegetarian or you're vegan, that's totally fine. Um, there's a lot of other grow options for you out there as well. So things like tofu, or beans, or lentils, or there's even nuts are really high in protein and nut butters are high in protein. So things like peanut butter, which is one of my favorite foods, is really high in protein and it tastes so good. So there's a lot of options out there. I just wanna make sure that you guys know some of the options. Um, so that way, if you don't think you have enough grow foods in your diet, you can maybe incorporate some of these. Maybe you also noticed that I didn't mention any red meats like beef or any processed meats like deli meats, um, salami, bologna, or like those little turkey slices you get at the store. So I didn't mention those meats because sometimes they can be high in things like saturated fat and sodium. And saturated fat and sodium are very healthy for your heart. And I just wanna make sure that you know to limit our red meat and our processed meats when we are able to. I understand sometimes we can't and that's our only option and that's totally fine. It's not going to kill you to eat them every once in a while. I just wanna make sure that you're not only using those meats as your primary source of protein. So try to choose things like chicken or fish because those are just healthier for your heart in the long run. So that's why I didn't mention those ones in the first examples. If you have more questions about that, please feel free to leave a comment below or email me and I can absolutely answer any of those questions. Okay, so I keep mentioning protein, but do we really know what protein does for our body? So protein is so important because it helps our bodies to grow really big and strong. So since you guys are still kids and you're still growing, it's so important that you're getting protein in your diet because you wanna make sure that your body can grow to its full potential. So I would just wanna make sure that you guys know that you need to incorporate um, our grow foods in every single meal. So a fun activity, just check in with yourself and say, hey, do I know what kind of grow foods that I like for breakfast? Do I know what kind of grow foods I like for lunch? Do I know what kind of grow foods I like for dinner? It's important that you make note of the grow foods that you do like so that way you can make sure to incorporate them in your daily diet. So other than that, that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed it and make sure to tune in next time where we're going to be talking about our glow foods.